Hey guys, it is Sharon back with Little Britain Company and I am here with a team new haul. Um, super excited about it. What, uh, I know I'm looking over here, I'm like there's something in my way. Um, today, I am actually going to split this haul. It's actually three orders. You know Timu, they like to combine everything. So it all came in and I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do all of the, you guys are gonna, some of you are gonna love this. Today, I'm going to do just the non-crafting items. I know. Because there's a lot of crafting things down here. And it's just going to take a while. And today was the first day back at school. So if I'm not as high energy as I normally is, as I normally am, <laughs> that's why. <what. laughs> Today's the first day back to school. So getting back in the swing of things and we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Um, but I want to jump in and start this. I have a bunch of uh, holiday earrings for you today. Today's earrings are, of course, brought to you from Timu. I think these are really pretty. They match what I was wearing. I may have shown these to you once before. I try not to repeat it. I really have plenty of earrings I don't need to repeat. But they match what I was wearing. So. Um, I am going to start with, uh, with the... Uh, I'm going to leave the jewelry last today, and I'm just going to grab the first thing. Remember, I'm no longer doing prices, but I will link all of them. Uh, so if you want to find something, anything that I can link. Now, there are times now when something is on clearance. Yeah, I know. I've got to, I've got to color this hair. Um, when something is on clearance, it doesn't always um, link for me as much. It, it's a harder call to get it if it's not like that. So just, just letting you know that ahead of time. So no big stories today. Other than today was the first day of school and not with kids. This is just teachers. We spend two weeks getting ready. Uh, teachers come back. We spend two weeks. I, I don't know. You know, I, I'm the media coordinator and I'm the technology facilitator. So, um, so I don't have to do the same kind of prep that the other teachers do. I do, however, have to prep. Right now, I think I have several hundred books that need to be processed, prepped it out, and ready to go. So I got my work cut out, too. But today was just all the teachers together. Learn, you know, there's always a first day of that. Y'all are like, get on with it. Okay, let me get on. Oh, I wanted to mention, so the um, recent video I did, I think it was the one on cards. And I do go back and look at my videos, not right away, but I'll go back, you know, once they've been released out and kind of look at them. I think I've said that before. I like to kind of assess how did I do, what will it... This video was ridiculous. I don't know what was wrong with me or why I had to keep touching my hair, but I must have touched my hair, I don't even know, 40 or 50 times. It was silly. <laughs> so sorry about that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was bothering me so much about my hair that day. I mean, I always play with it a little bit, but this was ridiculous. <laughs> Just saying. Just letting that out there. All right, let's get going. So this is something my husband wanted. Got a lot of stuff to show today. Um, actually has a teeny tiny instruction thing. Basically, you put your nail... And here, you push this up against the wall and it holds the nail in place. So you actually don't have to have your fingers right on the nail, which is, he thought might be really convenient. And so he said, let me go ahead and try it. Basically, you get your nails started. What uh, what I like about that, so you get your nails started, because I can use this too. Get your nails started, right? Whatever hole it needs to be in. And then instead of trying to pull it off, you just open this up and you finish hammering your nail in. So it's kind of cool. We'll see if it works. This one is just silly. I can't even really, maybe I can. Okay, so this is a Christmas present for Little Brit. He was looking at it. This is interesting. Okay, so I can still box it up. So instead of ruining the box by shipping it with the box put together, you put the box together yourself. I can live with that. So this is a Mario Brothers mini blocks. And when I say mini, look at that compared to my hand. These are tiny, tiny. I would not want to do it, but 
I think he'll get a he'll get a kick out of doing it. Now I'm trying to I'm gonna see. So here are the directions. Um, one page type. That looks looks very similar to the way Lego goes together. Mega blocks. Um, these days there are several you know different companies that do this kind of a thing. Let me see if it all fits. All right, so I'm putting it together. Trying to put it together. Hmm. Let's see. So the instructions are actually a wee bit big. That's weird. All right. So it's fitting in here. Let's see if we can get it to fit. I wish I could show this to you right now, but that just means moving the camera around a little bit. So I'm being lazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being lazy. I'll try not to be lazy tomorrow. All right. These I'm going to just have to, all right. So these are just not fitting properly. I'm going to fold them up there. Now they fit and try to get, yes. Okay. It's actually really cute. So it, it all fits. Fits great. I forgot how to do this, to do this properly. I didn't put the bottom of the box together properly, but now I did. Okay, so the bottom of the box fits together. That's actually kind of nice because it's now an attractive little, you know, put well put together little thing for that I'm putting away for Christmas. And it's not all like destroyed like they sometimes are. I like it. He thought that would be fun. Now I may order him like the Luigi and the mushroom. What is the mushroom gun called? I don't know what the mushroom is called. Okay, so let me see. This was a, we had a lot of, I had a lot of holiday things. Um, in particular, I was on a Halloween kick when I was ordering. Halloween, there's a lot of Christmas jewelry. Mostly Halloween. It's a mix. It's a mix. Okay. This one was so cool. And I want to show you that this was packaged in just pieces of cardboard because it is a witch sign. I think this is cool. Let me get it out of there. Okay, so they kind of stapled it in place. So you attach it, you can nail it in or attach it to, um, to your, <laughs> a post or something outside. It's kind of interesting. I thought that it would be, uh, that there would be a flat side. Maybe you're supposed to flatten that. Are there any directions here? No, there's just a picture. My husband will figure it out because he's brilliant. So isn't that cool? So I, want, I wanted to put that up on um, outside the house for Halloween. I just thought that would be really fun. Yep. Oh, I left something in there. That, I'll get the other thing in just a second. No, no, that one goes with the next order. Sorry. I've got a whole nother cool order coming to, sh to show. Well, something that came in, it was not part of this. It came in separately, so I'll show that to you separately. I'm excited. Really, really fun. Okay, so what's next? So I did order, I am not big on ordering clothes from Timu. I have not had huge luck. Um, and too much of it is polyester for my taste. And this one's polyester too, but I had to have it. I had to. Look at that shirt. Isn't that fun? Okay, so this is cute. I just like the whole stack of books in the mirror. I hadn't seen that anywhere else. So I thought that one was fun. I'm going to, so this one, I'll show you this actually. Um, so you can see this one has sort of this rounded collar, which I hate. <laughs> but luckily I sew. <laughs> so I'm going to change that into a V-neck. I will show you when it's done. Uh, but I've got to work with it a little bit because again, like I said, I'm not, I'm not big on polyester. So I don't work with polyester much. It should be fine. It should be easy. Um, okay. So what's next? Okay, I know I'm promising y'all things like, oh, there's something so cool in the other room. Oh no, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> That's so mean. I don't mean to be mean. It's not really in my nature. All right. These are so stinking cute. These are vintage Halloween ornaments. 
Look at these. Then they're, they're very thin. I'm gonna show you all of these. I think it's one of each. Look at how cute these are. Oh my goodness. I, I love the kind of the vintage Halloween. I think it's really cute. Let's see. These are so cute. Uh, what I really like about these, these are perfect. You can use these on tops of packages. Um, not packages. Well, you can do packages if you wanted to. You can hang them on tree on, on a Halloween tree if you wanted to, which I may do with these because they're so stinking cute. I originally was thinking that I was going to put them on top of albums, um, but the hole in them is pretty big. So I was thinking if the hole was, you know, when they came in, because you can't see on there, but the hole is pretty big. So I may just go ahead and use them for, um, for my own Halloween tree because they're so, so cute. And they do come with pieces of twine. I will probably switch over and use um, maybe like some nice satiny black ribbon, black and orange. Okay, next, these are bookmarks. This is a package of bookmarks. Again, the vintagey stuff gets me. I just really like it. So it, this came really nicely packaged too. I like that. So you can lift it out. I think I don't. I don't know if you get repeats. Let's see. Let's see what we get in here. Let me get this off up here. Okay. So we get that cute little girl. Oh my goodness. All right. I don't know. Are you guys as in love with these as I am? These are adorable. And I will be using these in all sorts of things. I'm going to use them in my albums. I'm going to use them in my junk journals. Um, I may use them um, as focal points. Might even use some of them on a cover, like three of these together on a cover would be really cute. These are so stinking cute. I don't think there are any repeats. Are there repeats? Not yet. Oh, she's cute. Little pink ones with the little bunny. That one's got a little bunny too. So I think it's kind of through the year. Um, oh, that one has like all of them. Is that probably cute? She looks fall like to me. Look how adorable. So you've got them in all these different colors. They are so stinking cute. Definitely different seasons. Although I didn't see anything that just kind of stood out Christmassy to me, but that's okay. All right. Super cute. Super cute. I might use them as bookmarks. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. And they came tied up with this nice little bit of twine, which I really liked. I think that was really nicely done. All right, putting them back in the box. Now the next one, <clears throat> so I saw someone else um, hold these and I fell in love with them. And again, you know, what I'm showing you, although I'll use it for craft, they're not necessarily craft. These, I believe they are iron-on patches. You could put those on anything. Aren't they adorable? Oh, my word. So you get two in this pack. It's so stinking cute. And then I found this one. And then you get you get two in each of these. I th they have other ones. I don't know if they had them. I think they were missing some. They didn't have everything in. Look at the cute little ghosts, those little pink cheeks. And they really are sewn on or put together. And they were not expensive. These were you know, these were not a dollar a piece. I think it, the packs might've been like 120, um, something around that, which I thought was incredibly reasonable. Um, and then the next thing I got, I'll show you earrings. I'm gonna hold these off for last. I'll show you earrings because these are gonna require a down camera um, because I got um, shoe charms. Shoe charms are, 
huge with kids right now. The, uh, the croc charms are just huge with kids right now. So I picked up some of those. Um, Kate and I were ta have been talking about these, um, the shoe charms and ways to use them. Okay, next we're going to look at some stinking cute holiday jewelry. Just depends on which holiday. Look at those. Oh my golly. These are the cutest little ghosts. They're a good size. Oh, they're so cute. That orange. I am loving those. Here. I Let me take them out of their package because I know that it shines. So there's always like a bit of a shine on it. And, you know, that's interesting. So they actually were loose in there. Timu actually hadn't even, or the, whoever the manufacturer was for these had not actually attached them to the card. It's a cute idea though, the card that they have, because I have earrings that are gonna go for sale. I'm putting them on here right now. I have earrings that are gonna go for sale soon. I did all that, I did that earring video and I've got some other ones that I've made with um, Timu Charms. Um, <clears throat> so that's really cute. Oh yeah, that's much better. You can see them so much better. But I like how they did like just a little stamp right there. That's that's super cute. Think about that. Okay, so that's number one. Next, we have... Let me get this out of here. So, as I wrestle with the bags. So a lot of this, as I said, a lot of this is, um, you know, more holiday kitschy jewelry that we're doing today not elegant i will go back to elegant i have some really really nice things that i've picked up at timu that are just gorgeous all right these are fun and they're bent timu earrings when you get timu earrings in you pretty much have to take them out and like rebend the posts if they're like a straight post um these were super exciting they're wood i actually thought that might be plastic i mean come on for a librarian I can't. They're perfect. Oh, they actually go with this shirt really well, don't they? <laughs> All right, so I love the reed earrings. Super fun. What do we have next? Okay. So, wait a minute. Let me, let me finish Halloween before we go into the Christmas stuff that I found. Um, I should have pre-sorted. But, you know, I like to live dangerously. There we go. Oh, my word. Sophia's hair. It's the dog hair. She's not a long-haired dog, but our Sophia definitely sheds her hair. Okay, so next, for your viewing pleasure, let's look at some more Halloween guys. So much fun stuff for you. I'm just going to take you through a little holiday tour. This, super fun. Just cute. Look at these cute little studs. So there's three pairs on here. I I love these. I think these are adorable. They're nice. They're that, they're, I mean, they're plastic, but they don't feel, they feel very, very smooth and nice. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that, but they're really sweet. And I think I'm sure this was this was under two dollars. It might have been under a dollar at the time. I know I got a good deal on this one. I think it was under a dollar for three pairs, and I went, oh, I gotta get that. <laughs> That's what team will get you. Because <laughs> it's so, you're like, oh well, if, at that price I have to. It's like it's like a law. It's a rule. Okay. I'm put these on here. So again, librarian, it's part of part of my gig. Let me show you what these are. You all tell me if you, I think everybody needs a pair of these. <gasps> Reading ghost. <laughs> okay, the Reading Ghost. Yeah, you show me Reading Ghost. I'm there for it. I am there for it. Okay, next one. Pink sparkly ghosts. 
Those are so fun. I'm gonna do it like this. But... Oh my word, those are so fun. These are really adorable. They sure still got bent up a little bit, but there you go. All right, just adorable. I have the cutest Halloween jewelry now. I can't wait till I can't wait till like near the end of September. I'll start wearing my Halloween jewelry because I have a lot of it and I want to wear it all. All right, let me show you one thing that was not. Now this is actually for my eldest. This is a tie tack. He's a business guy. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest stinking thing? Now it doesn't have to be a tie tack. It can certainly just attach to something, a lanyard or a lapel. Um, I'm very tempted to get one for me for my lanyard. I need to look for more of those, but that's so cute. Um, for my eldest, his favorite holiday is Halloween. So while we're looking at those kind of tie tacks or things, my husband also has like a series, something similar to that style. And he puts them on his, um, his he's got a hat from Australia. Um, and he puts them on this Australian hat. And so just, just different ones. And he wanted this one. I'm not going to say it out loud. He saw this. And he... Couldn't stop laughing. So, okay, so he doesn't know I got it. His, actually, his birthday, um, Big Brit's birthday is the 21st. So it's coming up really soon. Okay, next on to, <clears throat> oh, well, since we're going in order, how about Thanksgiving? You know, you, it's hard to find Thanksgiving earrings, isn't it? But look at these. Let me get these onto a backing for you so you can see them properly. Because these are really nice. Okay. Look at how cute those are. You got your little turkey earrings for Thanksgiving? I gotta say. All right, you gotta stop moving. Super cute. And really, you know, really nicely done. So I really like those. Those are nice. And, and it's nice to have at least one pair. Thanksgiving kind of... Halloween happens and then Thanksgiving is, a, you know, just a couple weeks behind. So, you know, although we, I love the build up to Thanksgiving, I don't know that it gets the same, you know, enjoyment necessarily. Okay, now, Christmas. Oh, I got the cutest stuff, guys. These are the cutest stinking earrings. If I can get into them. I thought these were going to be a lot bigger, which is interesting because I... I had bought something similar to them and I was so tickled at the size. Look at how cute these little gingerbread houses are. They are just stinking adorable. And look at that. Just such a nice size. They're just really cute in the back. So you get that, that nice sparkle. Love those. So those and uh, these, uh, these next ones we're all, you know how in Timu when you're looking, sometimes you open like um, one item, but there's actually like, you know, several items attached to it for you to pick your favorite of those. Well, these were all attached to the same items type thing. Okay. Just absolutely adore these cute little hot cocos. And I love the size because so much of what I've gotten for Christmas has been really big. And I actually normally wear like this size. This is about my normal size. Although with Timu and on so many really fun earrings, I have, I have upped my earring. <laughs> okay. I don't remember the prices on those, but this, you know, you know me, I'm cheap. I'm not spending a lot on these. Um, let me see if I can get into this one. So we have some Santa's. I found some of the cutest Santas. Most of the back, most of the posts of these actually came out okay. So let me show you these guys. He's a little old fashioned vintage Santa holding a kitten. Kate, you gotta love these. He is, I, I just think that Santa is super. 
He's so cute. Now he's made of the same kind of a plastic, the hard plastic. Um, nice, nice put together. So I really liked him. A lot of these um, are, they have a front and back to them. So let me show you this next pair. These are just fun. They're all just fun. I had to though, with the Believe. I just had to. And the back is the same. So if they sort of spin around on you. Aren't they cute? Now these are wooden. So someone's having some fun with the laser machine. <laughs> and I did think, and I wanted to point out, his hat I think is almost like a polka dots. He's again, very vintagey. Um, that's almost like a Coca-Cola, believe. Okay, now this next one I'm going to show you guys. I have two two earrings left, and then we'll look at the uh, charms. This one came as a two-pack, which is why I can't get it out. There we go. So these came as a two-pack, which was really kind of fun. And again, I don't know, two bucks, something like that. They're both really fun, but I bought it in particular for one of them. I'll show you. Let me get it on this little backing so I can show you. Kind of the nice thing about these being double, both sided is that you can wear them how you see fit. Oh, actually, that one's kind of weird on that side. Oh, I'll show you what I mean. Aren't they cute? I don't know, do you think that he looks a little bit weird on that side? Maybe, maybe not. They're wooden. So you can see that they're double sided. You can wear them how you want. Again. He's got a bit of a vintage -y look, maybe a 60s or 70s vintage. But this last pair of earrings, because I hadn't seen anything like this, this one. And again, this is probably, makes me think a little bit more 70s or 50s. Everything comes around again, right? He's got his pink hat on. So you got this adorable Santa. I love his face. I love the really curly, curly beard, but I love this pink hat. So these are big again. So we're back to, you know, back to big ones. Um, okay, so that is it for the earrings. And I'm gonna turn the camera down so that we can take a look at those really cool charms because they are super fun. Okay, so Timu carries bags of these little shoe charms. And I have got to say, if you've ever priced out some of these shoe charms, you know they are not cheap. Um, Dollar Tree had some of them, but they only had two, two shoe charms. So look at these. Let me, um, let me scooch you in on this a little bit. There we go. I gotta figure out where I'm supposed to put them. Aren't they cute? So you got the pumpkin and the witch's hat. I think you get, I don't know how, maybe two of each. I'm just gonna keep stacking them up over here. Look at that one. And the bat. And you get another bat. And the pumpkin. Eyeballs. And up there's a matching ghosty to that one. So it does look like we're getting two of each. That's an interesting little candle, a little gray one. Hmm. You get the little skeleton. Let me move these. All right, so we're getting another candle, skeleton, ghost, jack-o'-lantern. All right, I'm gonna move those out of the way. And then I got this one and I, they might be the same one. I may have ordered both thinking that I was going to get singles in them and instead it's doubles. I think these might actually be the same. Oh my golly. How do I do that? Sometimes I got to tell you guys. Sometimes. That's okay. That's okay because we're going to have fun with these. So it, it looks like it's the same. So I think I ordered two of the same ones. It might have been too many, two different like companies, stores, so to speak. But these are so cute. Look at that guy. I love him. I just love him in the witch's hat. All right. These are so stinking cute. 
and meant for Crocs. So I love that they that they have these and they might have been, they were either somewhere around two or three dollars for the whole pack. So super fun, uh, but that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't even horrifically long, shockingly. Um, next, uh, the next video will be just um, crafts. <laughs> I can remember. Next video is just crafts. Cheers.